Welcome back to After the Whistle. Tristan Thomas here at Minnesota State Moorhead with former Velva football player Gage Florence. And Gage, I guess let's start with, I mean, you've had a really great season this year for the Dragons. I mean, what's worked well for you, for you leading the team in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns? Um, I think uh, a little mix of everything. Um, coming in this year, obviously as a freshman, um, was, didn't really know what to expect and uh, came in and has had a good year so far. A lot of it comes back to uh, my teammates. Um, We've had uh, like quarterback change and stuff like that, but Jack has stepped in and done a really good job um, getting the ball out to everybody. I mean, we've had a good connection so far, so I think that's a big thing that's helped, but uh, a lot of pieces play in with uh, my teammates helping me out too, so that's been great too. Do you expect to have such a great start so early in your career? Um, I'd say a little bit of both, yes and no. Um, I knew that coming in after graduating a lot of wide receivers, I'd have to come in and try to make a strong impact for the team and help us win games. And uh, I think so far I've done a pretty good job on uh, trying to help us win and do my best my abilities to uh, play well. And last year you redshirted. I mean, was that tough? What, what, I guess what was that whole year like for you? Um, yeah, I mean, right away, obviously, like, going from playing for four years in high school to, like, having to sit out and then just basically practice for a whole year. Um, it was tough not being able to play. Um, you know, obviously, you're putting in all that work and then not being on the field, but it was uh, very beneficial for me, for sure. Um, obviously, I, I put on about, like, 10, 15 pounds, and then I was able to sit for a whole year and um, play it, like watch guys like Grady and Trent Marquardt and other guys like Ryan B. Board on our team and just learn a lot from them, my position coach, and just going in and out of what college football is all about. And you were also here with uh, Shad Veda last year, another Velva guy. Was it like, what, what was it like to have him there and was, was he a big part of what brought you here? Um, I'd say yeah, for sure. Um, Shad was a great football player back in Velva and I was, I'd been coming up here uh, to games and like even staying at Shad's house since I was like a sophomore in high school. So um, it's kind of crazy. Um, going from you look up to a guy and all that stuff and then all of a sudden you're playing with him on the same team in college when you didn't have a chance to in high school so I'd say yeah Shad was a great player for us and I always looked up to him and then being able to be with him on the team last year was really good too. I know he was a D DB did you ever go against him in practice? Oh yeah. Was that was that weird like oh man Velva on Velva? Um, I mean a little bit right away it was like it was kind of weird but then we got into it and then going on throughout the season it was just good to help try to get each other better. Yeah and speaking of the Aggies they you know make the run to the state championship this year what was it like from from your side you know being an, an alumni seeing them uh, get back to there oh uh, i'm i'm so happy for them i mean going back i always keep up with the velva games like i said i've got like a younger stepbrother who plays from um i'm always keeping up every game my mom be texting me the scores and stuff like that and seeing them to be able to get over that hump of like the semifinals, which like back in high school i was never able to, able to do is uh, great to see yeah what's it like to see uh, hank doing doing really well for for the team this year is he's, he's pretty young for in, in high school yeah for him just being as young as he is and be able to make an impact back there uh, it's great um they got a really young team and all those young guys are doing a good job stepping up uh i'm just I'm, yeah i'm happy for him yeah, and what do you think it means for for coach sandy you know waiting so long to get back there after so many years of seemingly being there every year every other year what do you think it means for him to, to finally get back there uh, i miss a lot i mean he had that long reign of like 10 years where he won nine of them or something like that so uh i mean getting back there he's probably pretty used to it and now he's been away for it for a while so it's good for him to be back there yeah so for, for you uh i guess looking over, overlooking your your season here uh what do you hope to do the rest of your time here in college um i hope to every year just continuously get better and better um i'm gonna work just as hard if not harder every off season now forward and uh, you know sky's the limit you know I'm never gonna put a limit on anything I can do and this team can do and I know that uh, next year is gonna come back even better and stronger and uh, put up even better numbers and hopefully come out with more wins. Awesome Gage well appreciate the time and, and good luck. Thank you. All right we'll be back with more after the whistle next. Well